Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. Oh man, I feel so awful. So this is a special request. The birthday's this month, and I've known about it since last month, but I missed it in my email. So, all right, we're gonna do this fast. Um, okay, I don't know, I have her on Messenger, Messenger, mess, on Messenger. <laughs> messaging with her is what i'm trying to say so if she writes back i may change course but um so this file looks great because everything's kind of broken up so like the white that's small right the face is right here um you know we can make the face 11 inches so 11 11 and then it stretches out so he can be quite i mean he can be 30 inches no problem because even the blue is broken up look at this part is um, broken up, so you have just this this leg, and then this leg is its own piece. So everything can be really, really big. So let's um, let's try for forty inches and see what we get. All right, so we need to zoom out because it's so big. All right, let's ungroup everything. And when I look over here, it looks like everything was already its own separate piece. So this is actually going to be a fairly easy file, I believe. We'll see. All right, so the face is 13.8 by 11.7. So it's it's too big. Um, so 40 inches isn't going to work. So let's select all and let's go down to... Let's try 36 inches. Okay, so at 36 inches, let's see how big his face is. His face is 12.5 by 10.55, but let's rotate it and see if it changes for us. And then, so when you rotate it and you unlock the image, it gives us new dimensions. Oh, look. 10.45 by 11.6, we can cut that, right? 11.6 um, is still a little bit long, but it's under 12 inches. We can trick the system into allowing us to cut it on a 12 by 12 um, mat with 12 by 12 cardstock. So this actually looks really, I think we're good. So um, select all, what did we go down to? 36 inches, okay. So let's save this so that I can remember. So Mario, 36 inches. And let's do this thing. <laughs> All right, so we're saving, it's saving. Like I said, this should be very easy. But when I rotated the face, what I did notice is we don't have a solid black background. An easy fix to do, okay? So see, it's clear. Um, so we'll just move everything out. So now this face, Remember, I said if we rotate it 11, oh, 10, 11 inches by 11.3, we could totally cut this, not a problem. <clears throat> All our other pieces should be fine. 9.7 by 12.2, but again, we have the option of rotating. So when we rotate it, and you unlock it, Okay, I'm like, it won't give me the new dimensions. 11.3 by 10.8. So the way it's design space is calculating the measurements is it's going from the most left to the most right. That's gonna give you, which one is this? The width. And then the height is the top most to the bottom. So it's going from here to here. So as we rotate this, right, we're changing the, the calculation. So just remember like when something doesn't look good, just keep trying because if it's narrow enough, like this piece is pretty narrow, we can go more diagonal, right? Diagonal will give you more um, more room than the 11 and a half by 11 and a half, so like this. Okay, so like I was saying, everything else should be perfection. Six, so he's gonna look seamless. The only seams he's gonna have is in the black background because look at his pants, fine, right? This piece obviously these little pieces and I like that everything's kind of in big chunks there are no small pieces so this is gonna be super easy to do 
So we're just moving everything apart just to make sure everything looks good. I would use glitter cardstock. Whoa, what is that? Okay, what happened here? Why is that the case? Okay, so we actually don't need this piece because we're gonna make this all solid black, right? So these are good, okay. Yeah, we don't need these black pieces. Okay, so let's move him down for a second. Let's delete this. We also don't need th this. Okay, so all these pieces, I think we are good, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna move, I'm gonna grab all of this. I'm gonna move it to the side. We know all these pieces are good. Let's look at this. So this, we need to contour and hide all. When you hide all, he's gonna go completely solid. And once that happens, you can exit out of it. And there you go, our solid back black our solid black background. <laughs> All right, so now he is 27 and a half inches by 36 inches. Obviously we cannot cut this on the Cricut. We need to build our grid of squares so that we can slice apart pieces that we can cut on the Cricut with 12 by 12 cardstock. Now I get this question a lot. Can I do eight and a half by 11 paper? Of course you can, but your squares are gonna be a different dimension, right? You need to make it smaller you're gonna have more cuts because it's smaller paper. I really do recommend, I mean, I like 12 by 12 cardstock. I know it's not available in, in all countries. Um, so that, you have it. Sorry, I was checking to see if she wrote back. She has not. So let's do this. Let's grab our square. And if I get a lot of comments, I will do one character with eight and a half by 11 paper. You just need to comment and tell me you want that. Otherwise, I'm gonna assume everyone else has 12 by 12 cardstock. <laughs> All right, so this one, we're gonna change it to 11 by 11. I do 11 by 11 because I don't like dealing with half inches, and for the most part, it usually doesn't make a difference. So 11 by 11, put it down in the corner. It doesn't matter where. We're gonna go over here, and we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So 5.8 becomes 6, 2.056 becomes 2. That's our first square. And the X and the Y coordinates, it's this right here. X is the one running across. So we're saying go over six units, go down two units, here's the beginning of our square. We're gonna duplicate that square and we're gonna put it really close to the first one. And then we're gonna round again to the nearest whole number. So 17.3 becomes 17, 1.8 becomes two. And then the math behind it is this starts at six, 6 plus 11 is 17, and this is at 17. So we know that they're completely flushed, and you want that because we're trying to make everything just butt up against each other so that we can hide the seams as best as we can. We don't want anything to overlap, and we don't want any gaps. All right, I know I talk a lot with my hands. <laughs> let's duplicate that piece, and we're going to build it right here. And again, let's go over here. 28.1 becomes 28. 1.9 becomes 2. Now, we have three squares that are completely flush with each other. Let's use them. So hit your shift key and go to your right-hand side panel and grab all three squares. So shift, grab, shift, grab. All three squares are highlighted. We duplicate. We've got a set of three completely flushed. We're gonna put it really close to the first one and then go and round. 5.9 becomes six, 13.2 becomes 13. Now we have six, right? Let's grab all of them. Shift and grab the remaining three and duplicate. And there we go. I'm gonna put this one close to this one and you guessed it. 6.1 becomes six, 24.3 becomes 24. So now we have a grid of 12 squares. Let's go and scroll down and grab our black background. Here he is. 
and we're gonna arrange send to the front. We wanna see where all the slices are gonna happen, right? This is something you don't want right here. Where just a small little piece of his hand is gonna be sliced off, we want big pieces here. We don't wanna handle any small pieces like this. So we're gonna move him around And sometimes you can't help it, and that's fine. Like this looks pretty good. This, uh, let me move this up a little bit. This corner is gonna be one big piece, big piece. I mean, this this is still sizable. Um, this piece, this piece, and just this. Okay, so we actually didn't need a few squares. We can just get rid of them now. We don't need this one, right? Nothing in that, that block. Nothing in this one nothing in this one. And it wasn't hard to make that grid, right? When we're just copying and pasting. So, you know, not a big deal. All right, let's start slicing. We're gonna slice one square at a time with the image. So let's start here. Slice. Remember, you can only slice two items at one time. So if your mouse picks up more than two items, then slicing will be grayed out. I'm gonna show you right now, I'm gonna pick up more than two. I'm gonna pick up this square, this fist, and I'm gonna go over just enough to grab a few more things. You see how barely that was? But it no longer is available. All right, so now if you do this, you can slice. And it doesn't take very much for your mouse to pick it up. It just needs to, like, watch. I'm gonna slice this, oops. And I'm just barely picking up the two items, but that's enough. Your cursor, if it touches it, it grabs it, you're good. All right, so we're making our way around. I kind of skipped around a little bit. So I'm gonna try to bring back some sort of, you're going top down so that we, okay. So see something like this? Design space glitches all the time. So just undo and we'll go around it. We'll slice this instead. And I've noticed that that has worked for me in the past. Now it may be hard to slice some of these pieces because they're inside. So we may need to move things around a little bit, but that's not a big deal. We're just gonna continue slicing. Okay. The other thing that I like to do is once I've sliced all these pieces off, I like to move them out of the way and still keep them in the same order so that later when you're piecing this together, you don't have to guess where they go. And sometimes it seems like it's obvious where they should go, but trust me, it isn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete these things, these slice results, because we don't need it. And that way I can get to this piece to slice right here. Okay, so now I think we've sliced everything. So I'm gonna move this piece over here. I mean, that's a big piece. That was 11 by 11. See, these are nice big chunks. There you have it. We're gonna delete this. Let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what it looks like. And 36 inches for a party. I mean, Frida behind me is 30 inches, as is the sugar skull. And when I'm standing way back there, it pops. It's great party decor. I love it. All right, you're gonna get this message saying you need 12 by 24 mat because your piece is going over 11 and a half inches. No problem, just click OK. <laughs> All right, so here are our white pieces. Because these are all separated, you can, you know, make room for it here. You can scoot things in. Um, I'm probably not doing a really good job right now, but the reason why I like to do this though is so that the next time I, because I save my expensive paper, my glitter paper, I save the scraps. So next time I have this big chunk right here that's easy to use as well as this piece. So you want to do that. Oh, wait this hand, I feel like it can fit on the other one. Let's try it. So you click on the three dots, move object, and maybe it is too big. So you can click it on here. I feel like it's a mistake, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so let's see if I move everything back. 
Can I make enough space? Oh, it's so close. Uh, it's so close, it doesn't fit. It's easy though, you just click back the three dots, move the object and move it back to where it was. So I use this function a lot because a lot of times design space, that was not a good example, but a lot of times I can squeeze in quite a bit. So all right, here's our um, light colored piece. I don't remember what this is for, maybe the eyes. All right, here's our big red piece. I would take this and make it more diagonal so that it will fit, see, and so it fits above the 12 inch line. If you have a 12 by 24 mat, which I use all the time because I buy it in bulk and it's the cheapest best buy ever. Um, so I always do that and then I would just make sure if you have a 12 by 24 mat, avoid that 12 inch line. Everything has to be above or below, otherwise it's gonna get cut off. Um, because you're using 12 by 12 cardstock. That's why it would get cut off, sorry. Okay, let's, you can make this, you know, a little bit more efficient, right? Or maybe you could put it up here. You could probably put it up there, that makes more sense. <laughs> On um, this one, these two can be transferred to this page, right? So click on the three dots, move object. In fact, now that I'm looking at it from a, a high overview, I feel like, can we fit everything onto a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock? Like, can we move everything up here? I think we can. I'll be close. But for sure not three pages, two is plenty. Oh, it doesn't fit in there so close, but that will fit. Um, anyway, so you can see that. Here's the brown pieces. Those, This one should definitely be up here so you can move it now that you know how to do it. All right, here's the face. The face I would rotate to make sure it fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and there's plenty of room right here's a 12 inch line. So easy peasy, there you go, that's it. All right, I hope that was helpful. I'm so sorry it was so delayed. I'm still waiting for you to respond back, but I'm gonna send you the link before I um, actually <clears throat> let this go live because that way you can have it as soon as possible. Everyone else, I'm sorry. I know this is a bad example, but I do always look forward to your special requests. It just gets into a queue and sometimes I lose track. So, um, but I want them. So let me know what you wanna see. Um, I also wanna just make a quick announcement that I will be doing, um, I will have a guest series. So things that I don't want to work on. Uh, so if you send me something and I can either explore it and research and actually, you know, learn how to do it, I will teach you. If I don't wanna do it like resin and epoxy stuff, cause I'm scared, I'm gonna reach out to someone who I think is an expert, ask them if they would like to come on. And so I have someone lined up, Ivy Pink Maid. She makes the cutest resin products. Um, she does cute little earrings, barrettes, um, but things like that. I'm gonna have people come on, I just want, our crafting community to be awesome and amazing. And I'm all about promoting other crafters. So if you actually want to come on, let me know too. You can always email me, it's ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.